My dear brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought us to Salatul Jumu'ah, the Friday prayer. And of course, Salatul Jumu'ah is on a very special day of the week called Jumu'ah, the day of Friday. And Friday is a very blessed day in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Friday is actually the best day of the week. It's not Saturday because we're off from work or we're off from school and we can stay up. It's not Sunday because there's no traffic and the roads are empty. It's certainly not Monday when we go back to work, no. The best day of the week is Friday. And many of us, we might not know about this. So today, we're going to be talking about this blessed day and this blessed prayer that we take place in every single week and things that we can learn about it directly from the Prophet wasallam. So first, how do we know that this is the best day of the week? The Prophet وسلم, he said, That the best day that the sun has ever risen on is the day of Jumu'ah, the day of Friday, Allahu Akbar. Directly from the blessed mouth of the Prophet And the Prophet وسلم, he said more blessed things about this beautiful day of Friday the Prophet ﷺ said, Fihi khuliqa Adam, That on this day of Friday, our father Adam والسلام, the Prophet Adam, that Allah Azza wa Jal created him on this blessed day of Friday. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Wafihi Jannah. And that on this blessed day of Friday, Adam alayhi salatu wasalam went to Jannah, Allahu Akbar. This is just one hadith to show us how beautiful this day is. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, when talking about Friday, he sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Inna hadha yawmu eidin ja'alahu Allahu lil muslimin. That the day of Friday, it is an Eid. It is a day of celebration. It is our holiday. The Prophet ﷺ, he mentions in another hadith that you have Eid al-Adha, you have Eid al-Fitr, you know, the Eid of Hajj, and then you have the Eid after Ramadan, and then you have Friday. Friday is an Eid, Allahu Akbar. Now many of us, we don't get to look at it this way through this lens. It's just another day of the week, we go to work, we, for our lunch break, instead of going to lunch, we come to the masjid. No, the Prophet ﷺ is saying that this day of Friday, it is a celebration. Think of how you prepare for Eid al-Adha, Eid al-Fitr, how you prepare for them. How you attend the masjid on those days. You dress so nice, you get desserts and food, you get gifts, you have such a great time, it's such a time of happiness. This is what the Prophet وسلم, is saying that Jumu'ah is an Eid. It is a celebration. It is a holiday for over 1.8 billion Muslims over the world. So if the kids, if they ever ask you, hey, how come we don't celebrate Christmas or Easter or this or that? We don't have holidays. You tell them, guess what? You got a holiday every week. Allahu Akbar. You have Yawm al-Jumu'ah. This is an Eid for us. Allahu Akbar. And not only that, to show the significance of this beautiful day. This is the only day of the week that has an entire surah named after it. Allahu Akbar. You don't see any surahs being called Monday, Yawm al Ithnayn, Yawm al Ahad. No, you only see Surah al Jum'ah. The surah of Jum'ah that Allah devoted an entire chapter of the Quran after this name after this day of the week and on top of that when we look more into the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he swore by the day of jumu'ah now just to pause for a second the scholars they say that when allah azza wa jal 
swears by something, that means that that thing he's swearing by is very important. It has a high significance. You don't see Allah swearing by things unless they're very, very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not waste His words. Every word, every letter is in its right place and is significant. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the all-wise, our Creator, chooses to swear by something, that means that it is very important. And one of the things that He swore by is the day of Jum'ah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Buruj, He says, وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الْبُرُوجِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْمَعُودِ وَشَاهِدٍ وَمَشْهُودٍ and Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, one of the greatest companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he told us, al-yawmul ma'udu, yawmul qiyamah. That the promised day that Allah swore by is the day of judgment. And that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, wal-yawmul mashhudu, yawmu arafah. And that the Prophet ﷺ said that the day that is witnessed, the witness day, is the day of Arafah. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, وَالشَّاهِدُ يَوْمُ الْجُمْعَةِ And the Prophet ﷺ said that the witnessing day is Friday. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala devoted a whole surah for it. The Prophet ﷺ said it in Eid. He, Allah Azza wa Jalla swore by it in the Qur'an. It is the best day of the week. There's so many ahadith about this beautiful and wonderful day that we take in place every week. And it's important for us as believers to see the significance. Now if we think about all the days in the world, the most important day that will ever exist is what day? Yawm al qiyamah The day of judgment. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us on Yawm al Qiyamah and allow us all to enter Jannah al Firdaus al A'la bi ghayri hisab wal adab. Allahumma ameen. Now, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said about this day, the most important day ever created, ever that will ever exist, Yawm al Qiyamah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Wala taqoom al sa'atu illa fi Yawm al Jum'ah. That the day of judgment, it will not take place except it will take place on a Friday. Allahu Akbar. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people that realize the significance and the beauty of this blessed day and make us believers that strive to do the best we can in our acts of worship on this day. Allahumma ameen. Aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa risali al-mu'mineen. Fa astaghfiruhu innahu huwa al-ghafoor rahim Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. My dear brothers and sisters, as we see now, the day of Jumu'ah is a very significant and important day for the believers. Now with important days come important responsibilities and preparations. If you think about all the important days you've had in your entire life, maybe they were your wedding, a graduation, maybe they were a significant examination that you had to take and you had to pass and these days they were so significant, so important to you that you would count the calendar days down until you reached it. Those days that you had in your life, you had a lot of preparation to take. Just imagine your wedding day, how much preparation you had to take. The day you were going to graduate, how much studies you had to do to get to that day. Now brothers and sisters, the same is with Yawm al -Jum'ah. The same is with the day of Friday. That there are certain preparations for the believer to take. Number one, let's talk about the basics. Number one, my dear brothers and sisters, the preparation comes before you reach Salatul Jum'ah. Before you walk into the masjid, there are certain things that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us that you should do. Amongst them, number one, that you should take a shower. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, إِذَا جَاءَ أَحَدَكُمُ الْجُمْعَةِ فَلْيَغْتَسِلْ That whoever is going to come to Salatul Jum'ah, that they should make ghusl, they should make a shower. 
They should purify themselves. This should be on that Friday morning. If you can't do it on Friday morning, if your schedule is too tight, if you have to travel to work, do it on Thursday night. Because in Islam, the night is when the day begins. So Thursday night, Thursday after Salat al-Maghrib, that's actually when Friday begins. You can begin on that day. You can take your shower then. This is what the Prophet wasallam he said, and he said that taking a shower, it is a wajib, it is an obligation on every adult. Allahu A'lam, every adult, male, some of the scholars say it's the males, Allahu A'lam. The point is that the Prophet ﷺ is saying, take a shower, it is an obligation, that means for us, coming to Salat al-Jum'ah, we take a shower. Sami'na wa ata'na. We hear what the Prophet ﷺ said, and we do it. Number two, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he encouraged us to groom ourselves. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, use your best cologne, brush your teeth. This means that you have to take care of your appearance. You dress nicely for Salat al-Jum'ah. You wouldn't go to a wedding wearing pajamas. You wouldn't go to meet the president wearing pajamas. No, you come to the house of Allah on Salat al-Jum'ah, you wear the best clothes that you can. You use the best cologne you have. You have the best appearance. You comb your hair. You do your beard. These are the things that the Prophet ﷺ told us. Number three, the Prophet ﷺ, he said that when you come to Salat al-Jum'ah, make sure you come early. Listen to this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ said that whoever takes a bath, takes a shower on Jum'ah, on Friday, and then he comes early, to the masjid, and he sits in that first row, he sits under the imam, meaning he sits the closest to the imam on the first row. The Prophet ﷺ said that he will have a reward for each step that he took, the reward would be a year's worth of fasting and praying. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You'll never find a better deal than this. Just to come early and to sit in that first row. The Prophet ﷺ, he also said that when it's Friday, that there are angels that are standing at the gates of the masjid, at the doors of the masjid, and they are writing the names of every single person that comes into the masjid. And the one who comes in first gets the biggest rewards, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. And then when the time comes for the salah, for the khutbah, when it starts, the angels, they close their books and they listen to the khutbah. Allahu Akbar. So we learn from this two things. Number one, the blessed gathering you're sitting in now, the angels are with us listening, Allahu Akbar. And number two, you want to make sure you come early before the khutbah starts so that your name is on that list of those who attended and not when it's closed. Number four, the Prophet wasallam, he taught us when you come into the masjid, do not separate the people. You know, some of us, we may think sitting in the first row is the best reward. Let me have a, you know, wrestling match and let me get into the first row and push everybody aside and start doing cartwheels and stuff. No. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, do not separate the people. Which means when you come into the masjid, you find the closest place you can sit without bothering anybody, without pushing anybody, and you sit there. And if you want to come early and you want to get the first row, you have to come early. So you, you be cordial to others. You give salams to others. You be nice to your brothers and sisters on this beautiful day. Number five, the Prophet wasallam he said that whoever makes wudu, and on Friday, obviously, whoever makes the ghusl, and the Prophet wasallam said whoever comes to the Friday prayer and he gets close to the imam, meaning he's sitting closer up front, and he listens to the khutbah, or she listens to the khutbah, and they are silent throughout the entire khutbah, the Prophet ﷺ said, whatever sin you had between that Friday and this Friday are forgiven. And the Prophet ﷺ said, and three more days. Which means you have 10 days of forgiveness just for coming to the khutbah and staying quiet. And with this is a very important point, my dear brothers and sisters. When it comes time for the Jumu'ah khutbah, we are to sit and we are to listen to the khutbah, there is no talking, there is no texting, there is no sh shushing. Even the Prophet ﷺ said, there's no shushing. Someone tried to shush one another, they said no. The Prophet ﷺ said, you have committed a vain talk. 
So even if your brother comes and says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, you stay silent because the khutbah is going on. And I've had this happen to me. A brother came to me in the middle of the khutbah, Assalamu alaikum, he's putting his hand out. No, during the khutbah, there's no talking, there's nothing. It's just you and the khutbah. And then after the khutbah, I told him, brother, during the khutbah, there's no talking, there's no salams, there's nothing. We have to listen to the khutbah, and then after that, we can give our salams. And alhamdulillah, he was accepting of that. So we still have a friendship, alhamdulillah. Lastly, the, uh, Allah Azza wa Jal says in Surah Al-Jum'ah that after Salat Al-Jum'ah, وَإِذَا قُدِيَةِ الصَّلَاةِ فَانْتَشِرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ that you go out, you remember the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The rest of the day you're remembering Allah. You can go back to work. There's no sin in that. Actually, this is what the Quran says. That you go back out, you do work. But that you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that you may be successful. Now my dear brothers and sisters, generally on the speaking on the day of Friday, this is a day for us to make a lot of dua. Make a lot of dua. Try to sing one time on the Friday to make some dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the Prophet sallam said that on Friday there is an hour that if a Muslim is praying at that time, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something, that Allah azza wa jal will give it to them. And this is a very special hour. Some of the scholars say it's the hour of Salat al-Jum'ah. Some of the scholars say it's the time after Salat al-Asr, before Maghrib. Allahu A'lam. But if you make dua throughout the entire day, inshaAllah ta'ala, you'll be able to catch it. And also the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever recites Surah Al-Kahf on Friday, that a light will shine for him between this Friday and the next. Which means that your entire week, it's illuminated. So many blessings, so much goodness will be for you just by reciting Surah Al-Kahf. And lastly, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, send a great deal of blessings upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on this day because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, your blessings will be shown to me, Allahu Akbar. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those believers that love and encourage celebrating this day of Friday, Allahumma ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those strong believers that come early to Salat al-Jum'ah, that concentrate on the khutbah, and that can take knowledge and benefit others, benefit our family, benefit our community from what we learn on Salat al-Jum'ah. And may Allah azza wa jal make us of those that enter Jannah al-Firdaus al-A'la bi ghayri hisabin wa la'adhaab. Allahumma ameen. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-Nabi. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallamu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد